jack. The woman with the golden whack. She loves to run and roll and jive. But if you don't like the show, then she'll soon let you know. She'll even knock you down and shoot the round when she loves. I might rip your arm off. Just let me on it. Might even tear your leg off, honey. In the early 70s, the self-appointed Queen of Wollongong was the weirdest thing on TV. She wore a dress like a tent, working boots with footy socks and one golden boxing glove. Please welcome the man beneath the frock, Graham Bond. Can you give us a little bit of Auntie Jack? Oh, the, that voice? That... Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you horrible little pigs. This is your old fat Auntie Jack. And if you don't watch this show, I'm going to jump through your speakers and rip your bloody arms off. That's the radio version. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. But you're a qualified architect. That's How right. on earth did you become Auntie Jack? I suddenly dis I discovered performing. And um, it was about third year architecture at Sydney University. I happened to be uh, in the right place at the right time because there were a whole lot of people around me. When I decided to do review at university, I happened to have Geoffrey Atherton, who was at architecture, with me. And of course, Jeff wrote Mother and Son and, uh, and uh, Grassroots. At the same time, I was very fortunate because we needed a band in this review. And they happened to have a 15 year old lead guitarist by the name of Rory O'Donoghue. On top of that, uh, a mutual friend was uh, Peter Weir. Uh, Peter Weir went through university and worked on all, a lot of the reviews with me. So it was a whole lot of people all at the same wow. time. Yeah. It was bizarre. Ali Jack, though, was the machoist, with all due respect, ugliest, <laughs> most irreverent TV personality, I guess, that we'd ever seen. Was she created to shock? Back in 1968, the ABC asked Peter Weir and myself to write a... Uh, a radio show to replace do you remember the Argonauts program yeah so one day I was sitting uh, over at Peter Weir's house we were rehearsed writing this sort of show and he had some nephews and nieces running around this house right and they, they started to uh, really annoy me and uh, so I suddenly leapt up and I said listen you horrible little pigs you stop doing that or rip your bloody heads off <laughs> and Peter Peter Weir went what was that and I said it was Auntie Jack well let's take a look at Auntie Jack's transition from radio to television and remember, if you don't tune into the next show, I'm going to jump through your television sets and rip your bloody arms off. <laughs> and I will too. Yes, you will. Shut up! We saw our first glimpse of Norman Gunston. Well, you did, yes. First meeting on a Monday morning was our script meeting when Gary joined the show. And I said, Morris handed the scripts around and I said, look, I'm doing Artie Jack, I do Kev Cavanna, I do Neil and Errol, Rory, and I, we do all these characters. Rory's got heaps of characters. Give it to Gary. And Gary went, oh, yeah, okay. And he took it away and the next day he came back with the toilet paper stuck on his face and his hair came over and he went, hmm. And that's how it started. I mean, it's as simple as that. That's how Gunston happened. What did you go on to, to do and what, what are you doing now? I, I went through all the A's. I did architecture, academia, I did acting, auntie, ABC, I did advertising, I ran my own advertising, then I did uh, archaeology when I left advertising. And the next thing is Rory and I back doing Auntie Jack, we, last year we did the concert tour of Auntie Jack, which is, was great because suddenly I got to work with Rory after 17 years, it was a lovely, a lovely uh, oh, thing to do. That is fantastic. Well thank you for joining us. Now can we ask you to farewell our show and just will reminisce as Auntie Jack and go over with Rory and Finn Arthur. And look for it. I'll leave you with Graham Bond and Rory O'Donoghue singing Farewell Auntie Jack. Farewell Auntie Jack We know you'll be back Though you're ten feet tall You don't scare us at all He always says that Your big bold tongue but you're not so rough There's a scream as you plummet away And remember, na, if you don't buy the new DVD I'm going to jump through your television sets na, 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 and rip your bloody arms off na, 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 na.
and I will do. Especially you, stupid. Sorry, Mr. Kosh. And Mel. See it. She rides a black bike. I used to. And drives through the night. Bloody ABC soul.